<sighs> well, it's like 7 in the morning and I need to get some fresh air. Since today is a one day holiday, I don't know how to spend it. I mean, now that Bonnie and Chica are basically dating, and Fox and Mango are already dating, and well, what about me? You know what? Yeah, I'll just let my friends have their dates, and I'll just be single Freddy, the bear with no lady to hold. Huh? What the? Why is there a bag on the floor? What the heck is in it? Wait, what? What? Am I, am I seeing things? What? Wait. Uh. Hey, did someone order a baby that looks exactly like Springtrap? Uh, Freddy? Yeah? Did you just ask if someone ordered a baby that looks exactly like me? Yeah, just look in there and see for yourself. Okay. Oh my god, that baby does look exactly like me. Yeah, no kidding. Who left this baby on our porch? Uh, I don't know. Here, let's... Uh, let's look inside. Okay. Hey, there's a note. Oh. Uh, let me look at it. Uh, oh. Uh, Springtrap? Yeah? This note is for you. For me? Why... What the? Oh yeah, it is for me. It says it right here. Well, read it. Okay. Springtrap, this is Sydney from the Kindback Hotel. I just want you to know that after we went to bed together, you had gotten me pregnant with this child. Of course, I'm not ready to be a parent. So after I gave birth, I decided that this baby is your fault and I want nothing to do with it. Try not to get drunk next time, jerk, Sydney. Say what? This baby really is yours. Yeah, but... Uh, uh, who knows? Uh, this could be anyone's baby. It looks exactly like you, Springtrap. Who else would look exactly like you? Uh, my unknown twin brother? <sighs> no, face it, Springtrap. This is your baby. I know. I just don't really want to face the fact. I'm already a father. I know. Your baby's father. Yeah, I know that. <sighs> I can't believe Cindy just dropped him off here. Him? Yeah, it says it right here. Uh, uh, here's the information. Birth, October 7th, 2019, 8.22 p.m., gender male. Ah, so Candy, so Sydney left all the information on. Yeah, I guess she hasn't named him yet. That's because she wants nothing to do with it. I can't believe she's blaming me for this baby. I, yeah, I know, it is kind of my fault. We were both heavily drunk, and we didn't know what we were doing, and okay, I don't need to know all the details. Well, Sprint Trap, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid this baby is now your responsibility. Well, I can't take care of a baby. I can hardly even take care of myself. Oh, look at me. Sprint Trap, you don't look too bad for your age. <sighs> let's just take this baby inside, all right? Yeah, all right, let's go. All right, let's get him out of there. I don't think he wants to get out. I must be a bit scared. Alright, one, and there. Hmm, looks like he doesn't know how to walk yet. Of course he doesn't, he's only a few days old. Alright, now we need a box for him to sleep in. A box? Well, he'll just sleep there until we can find him a crib. I know. How about we make him sleep in this secret box? Whose secret box is that? I don't know. Right. Let's just take all this stuff out. And... There we go. Wow, that looks very comfortable. I'll get him a blanket and a pillow or something. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Hey, little buddy. How's it going? Uh-oh. Ow! What happened? He bit my eye! He must be hungry. Yeah! Uh, he's hungry for eyeballs! Hmm. Uh, I'll go look for something to eat. For, uh, for him, not for us. Oh, okay, you do that. Ugh. How about an apple? That seems a bit too big for him, Springtrap. Don't you think we should cut it up for him? 
Uh, I guess. <laughs> or not. Whoa. H how could his little mouth open so wide? Oh my god, this is so hard to watch, but I can't look away. Uh. Well, uh, he ate the whole thing. Even the core, oh my god. Hmm. Well, Springtrap, I think I'll, I'll leave you to it. Okay, see ya. Alright. So, I'm your daddy. Mommy's irresponsible, so you're not going to be seeing much of her. What should I name you? How about Nigel? Nigel's a good name. I was going to name Baby that, but when I found out she was going to be a girl, I had to come up with another plan. Oh, you're looking tired. Must be nap time. Okay. Good night. Good night. Close your eyes and go to sleep. I don't know the words, so I'm just gonna sing like. Ah, all right, all right. Just, uh, just try to fall asleep. Wow, that was actually really easy. This parenting thing might not actually be so bad. Well, I think I'll just leave him to it. And that's what happened. So, so Sydney just left him on our porch. Yeah, and he she's saying he's my fault. Well, he kind of is. Well, don't think of him as you know a mistake. Think of him as your new child. Oh yeah. So this is what it's like to be a parent. Yeah, and now our kids kind of have a buddy to hang out with. Oh yeah. Let's see him hang out. Uh, he doesn't know how to walk yet. Oh. I don't understand how you, your kids learned how to walk very fast. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. Well, I think we should just leave them alone, get to know each other. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Alright. We'll be back soon. Alright. And then I said, I was like, no, wait, what? Springtrap. Yeah? Nigel's standing all on his own. Oh. And he's learned how to walk. Huh. Your kids must have taught him to. Uh, they're already bonding. Yeah. But he still hasn't learned how to talk. Have they learned how to talk? Well, yeah, they, they just don't like to do it very much. Oh, uh, their voices hurt? Yeah, sometimes animatronic babies' voices box are still in development, even when they're born. So it could hurt a little. Ah, uh, I could see why they're not talking. Yeah. So, wow, how long were we at the coffee shop? We were there for only like a half hour. Wow, he learned how to walk in only a half hour. Yeah, he's progressing really fast. <sighs> okay. So, how do you execute a diaper change? I have diapers, baby wipes, powder, and all that stuff. So, here goes nothing. Dog out, I can't. I just can't. Oh, God. I have never. I haven't changed a diaper in years. I forgot how it's like. Alright. Alright. In there! In the trash! In the trash! In the trash! I'm gonna... I, I am gonna soak my hands in bleach. After... After touching that, now I wanna sh just soak my hands in bleach. Okay, um... Okay, uh, now I'll just get a new diaper in. Oh! 
damn it. Oh, I, I forgot. You have to put the diaper on quickly or else the baby might piss in your face. Okay. All right, here we go. And there. That wasn't too bad. Apart from the gross thing. Now, as I was saying, I have to go soak my hands in bleach and clean my face. Huh. <sighs> So, Springtrap, how's parenting life going? <laughs> it's going gross. Why gross? I just executed a diaper change and it didn't go too well. Uh, I, I don't understand. I've only had I've only had Nigel for like a day and I'm already tired. Well, being a father is not easy. Well, I, I'm not cut out to be a father anymore. I, I think I have to do something. What? Are you gonna give the uh, try to give the baby back to Sydney? I I want to, but then she'll probably just send it back here. Uh, yeah. I think I'm probably gonna give him up for adoption. Really? Yeah, I, I'm just not cut out for to be a father anymore. He, he deserves. I'm not saying I want to get rid of him. I I'm. He deserves better than me. Oh, Spring Trap, don't say that. I know being a father is not hard, but it, it, yeah, it's a huge responsibility. Yeah, I don't think I'm cut out to be a father anymore. I'm probably going to give him up for adoption. Uh, yeah, um, I'll just tell him he's going to a fancy hotel where his father left and never came back. Mm, well, uh, I think it's one thing his mother is gone. Don't you think he'll want to lose his father too? Who knows? Maybe he hasn't. Maybe he hasn't grown too emotionally attached to me. Are you sure about that? Uh, yeah. See, he's hugging you. Uh, does he know I'm gonna give him up for adoption? Uh, I don't know. He looks too young to understand. Oh yeah. Okay. I I think I'll try to keep him, and you know, deal with it. Okay. Well, I have to go now. Okay, bye. Well, Nigel, it looks like you're permanently going to be living with me.